Today I'm going to attempt to cast my own custom glasses stem end things for my glasses. The original ones have broken and these replacement ones just aren't working. I've designed these custom stems myself and I've 3D printed the mold for casting so that I can end up with a final product that's made of a more rubbery material. I've used my best guess as to what materials will be safe to use. Please don't consider this video as expert advice in what materials you should use. Do this at your own risk. For the casting material, I didn't want to risk having a potentially toxic polyurethane compound in contact with my skin all day. So I've decided to go with a food safe silicone that's used for making chocolate molds and things like that. For the tint, I've decided to use just a very fine charcoal powder for the same reasons. Like with all of my 3D printed projects, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of finishing first to make them fit. Okay, now I'm ready to start casting. The only challenge here is that because I need to measure these two components by weight, I'm gonna have to mix quite a lot more than I actually need to get some margin of accuracy. The first time I did this, I ended up with quite a lot of air bubbles trapped in the casting. So from this point on, I'm going to take over and I'm going to add a couple of steps to try and eliminate that. First, I'm just going to add some of the mixed silicone to my syringe for injection. One of those important steps now is to give the silicone a chance to degas. I'm going to do that by blocking the end of the syringe and pulling back on the plunger for a while to cause a vacuum inside there and give the bubbles a chance to expand before I expel the rest of the air from the syringe. I'm just purging it now to get rid of any extra bubbles. And now, when I inject the material into the mold, I'm going to make a point of holding the mold in a vertical orientation. This way I can make sure that I expel any trapped air from the mold as it fills with material from one end to the other. And I'm just going to keep filling the mold until a lot of extra material runs out of the breather holes. Here it comes. Now I'm just plugging those holes to keep any extra air from going back in. Now I just have to wait at least 16 hours and hope for the best. It's been a day since I cast the parts, so let's see how it all turned out. I'm really happy with these. There are a couple of tiny bubbles, but I'm really impressed. I'm going to be really careful about cutting these sprues off because I only have one chance at this. And there it is. I must say I'm very happy with these castings. Once I added the couple steps to degas the silicone, the final parts turned out great. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this, how to's, motorcycle videos, adventures, and who knows what I'll come up with next. And follow me on Instagram for sneak peeks and behind the scenes posts.